Yo, what's good? Back to go. This is a Mod Barry Spango versus Brofist. Commentary by Mod Barry Spango. So, what we got here? I'm looking at his team and I'm thinking, uh, hmm, it's a kind of tough matchup, but that's physical Hoopa. And I don't really have a good switch for hyperspace. But um, my only good leader here, I'm thinking, is probably Lando. Um, and his best lead is definitely Lando. I could have let off with Lottie, scouted it for his U turn, or I could have got Zapdos and just bolt switch turn one. But um, leading Lando turn one helps me out if he leads Heatran, because I don't really have a like an amazing Heatran switch. I don't want to get Lottie Toxic. And if I mess up and get trapped and uh, lose my Chansey, I kind of lose to Coco. So we both lead Lando. Um, and I don't know what set he is, but looking at his team, I'm thinking probably Scarf or like physical defensive. Either one is good. Um, found out later that he's running physically defensive Scarf or something like that. And I'm just going to go to Zapdos because I don't want to take any damage on my Lando because uh, if that is physical Koopa, I need Lando at max HP because I'm fully physically invested so I can take two hyperspaces. And uh, on this turn I scout, he's Jolly, I think okay I just have a free Volt switch, he's going to go Coco or Bulu, Bulu doesn't really make sense, Coco or Heatran, and I kind of play accordingly on that. So yeah, I just take the easy Volt switch, he's not staying in, he's John a... Uh, the way John plays, he really likes to punish with safe. Something I learned from early on. And the safe play for me is just HP ice if I have it, or heat wave in case he wants to set up rocks. So getting the uh, aggressive volt switch is really nice. And I, close, I can also see his Coco nature. And uh, he's not running naive, he is running timid or jolly, whichever one, but obviously timid. I think I go into my Lando to scare it off. I'm thinking I can scare it up. Oh, okay. I go to Lele. I'm trying to bluff Scarf here. And um, Psychic kinda gets a kill. Actually, that's not true at all. AV Bulu, Hoopa. But Psychic scares it out, which is good enough for now. And I can see if he is AV Bulu or not. Exactly what's gonna happen. And he is gonna be AV. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a problem because my Lele puts in a lot of work once this thing dies. Um, so I think I go hard Zapdos here. I can go Zapdos or Kartana, or I guess Latios too, but Latios invites Hoopa and I'm not really trying to invite Hoopa in. And if I take any damage on Lando, then if it is physical Hoopa, I'm like really bound. So I go to Zapdos on the Nature's Madness, here I could go for one of two things. I could Volt Switch, or I can Heat Wave, Roost. I can do a few things, actually. But I think the safe way to go about it is to just uh, Volt Switch and get Card in if he stays in. And if he goes Heatran, which is also likely, I can go Lando. And finish it off with an EQ, which is um, what I had intended. Did it work out? We'll um, see in a few seconds. So yeah, just got the easy Volt Switch read. And it's kind of obvious that I have to go Lando, I don't really have anything else that's beating each channel one on one. Well, my Lele set is Z Focus Blast, but I didn't really want to reveal that so early. Because it could be useful for Fighting Scissor, or just later on each channel when he doesn't expect it. And here I kind of make a mistake. I calc EQ in Jurassic Terrain against 0 HP Heatran. I didn't really consider that he might be running some health. And yeah, I copped it off there. He's running 248 HP, so that's a really bad mistake right here. And it means I lose my Lando, so yeah, if he had been running that physical Hoopa, it was pretty much game over. But um, yeah, you'll see later what his set is. And as he turns in a tank the EQ, um, he has to get two Magma Storms still to take me out. Unless he has like HP Ice, but he doesn't. Or like two Fire Stabs, but yeah. So he hits the uh, second Magma Storm, no problem. 
Yeah, and Lando goes down, which is my rocker, so I don't get rocks out the rest of the game. It was a healingish chancy fort, in case you're wondering why it wasn't rocks. And uh, at this point, I'm like, kinda, I don't want to reveal which my starfire is between Lele and Cartana, because it's going to come important later. And also it invites Scissor in, which is U turns around freely, I was assuming, because I'm a little weak to Scissor. I mean, I have Rock Helmet, yeah. Rock Helmet, Lando, and Stat Exactos, but. I'm gonna get Lele in because it should almost get a kill. Maybe Bulu still makes it kinda hard, but. Um, yeah, I definitely think Lele is the right way to revenge it. Because I just wanted the teacher end and Seismic Toss didn't kill, so I couldn't get a Chansey either. Otherwise, Chansey would be pretty fine. Because it also scares him into taunting, trying to block rocks, and then. Chance he gets out for free. So, um, yeah, Lele comes in, Psychic kills if he stays in. He can also go Avi Bulu, he can go Scizor, but must be careful with fire. He could go Hoopa if he thought I was a uh, choice locked. But that's really risky and there's no reason to make that play. So, yeah, he's just gonna go into Bulu as I Psychic, take the easy play. And, uh, oh no, I Focus Blast, sorry. Yeah, I was trying to catch Scissor because of Focus Blast plus Z Focus Blast would have killed him. And not the other way around. Or, yeah, I think, that, I think that's true. Pretty sure that's true. Because I didn't have HP Fire on this set. Or maybe Focus Blast wouldn't kill P-Tran. Yeah, so I'm going to go Carton instead of Zapdos because Zapdos is really low. And, uh, I need it for Scissor, like, entirely. And Lando, I guess. And John saw right through that, he knows I'm not going by Zapdos, because it could die to a wood hammer. And if I lose my Zapdos, Scissor just six it is at this point. So I had to go Cartana. He sees through it, it's the easy superpower. And here I'm kind of on the back foot right now, I'm down 5 6. And he has answers for everything on my team 1v1. So I'm going to make an aggressive play, get Scissor, I catch Scissor with Lele. And I have to just bluff that I have HP fire, and I mean no one's gonna, no one's gonna take that risk and call that I don't. So I think he will go on the Heatran sack. He either sacks Heatran or he goes Boo. I don't remember. Pretty sure he sacked Heatran. Sacking Heatran is a lot safer. In case I was like Shattered Psych, and Boo stays in, I get a kill with. Like, HP fire, okay, there's Bulu. And I just nature's madness here, that's right. Because I really just need his Bulu to die. Or else I'm, like, not winning this game. Because Lele can put in work, I just need this thing dead. And otherwise, once this is dead, he doesn't have, like, the best answers for it. Um, like, Scissor, Scissor would beat it if he knew I didn't have HP fire, but obviously he doesn't. You know, this, I really let my timer get low, and that, there was one turn where um, I kind of just did not think at all, and I was just so stressed out by this timer, but he goes Scissor, trying to catch probably my Latios, my Latios, I mean, or maybe, yeah, probably trying to catch Latios. It works out really well for me, because I get my Zapdos in, and it means I can roost up, and if he wants to knock off, and then he risks static, but he doesn't know that, actually he does know that. He'll just go zap to, or he'll go land on the zap full search. I'm here, um, I don't remember what I go for here. I probably just volt switched again. Because he has nothing that can hit me. He's definitely not, not running Stone Edge. This is his defogger. So yeah, I volt switch. Nope. Okay, yeah, this is the turn that kind of shifted the game into my favor. When I kind of. I have to go Chansey here and kind of just pray he's the special set. Both sets would make sense. He could be spec, Z move, banned. If it's banned, it's game over. Uh, but if it's either of the special sets, Chansey just walls it. Like, more than fine enough. So I'll switch for the damage. He's not scared. And, um, yeah, I just get Chansey easily here. Yeah, I was like just praying like Psychic or Dark Pulse, but he clicks Z Psychic, 
which is what the damage told me. And I'm like, okay, this is like really good. Now I'm in a good spot. I think I just throw out a seismic toss here, because I want damage on something. I might soft blow, I don't remember. But what I kinda have to do this game is I have to get his scissor paralyzed. Because I can only bluff so long that I have HP fire. Because I actually don't. I have Heatwave on Zapdos, but yeah, as soon as he realizes I don't have HP fire, I'm kind of in a bad spot. So let's see, do I seismic toss or soft? I just soft blow. Then I'm gonna go hard Zapdos in the next turn because again, yeah, if I get a static off, he's in a really bad spot. And that's the only status I can put on him. Fire and burn would be nice, but I'll have scald or wisp. And I'm going to go into Stag Zapdos on the knockoff and get the first turn para. Um, which is really good. Here, I, don't, I think I don't reveal Heat Wave. Oh no. I think I Heat Wave on the Coco here. No. I think I Volt Switch then. Yeah. And here, since he already revealed. He hasn't revealed that he's Scarf yet, so I don't want to Roost and catch an EQ because I'm faster than him. So I think I just Volt Switch to him. Because, yeah, if he is slower than me and he EQs on my Roost, then I die. Oh no, so he'll go Coco on the Heat Wave, which will 2 KO him next time I come in with Zapdos. And this Coco is really low, which is good. Okay, I, I assume that since he hasn't Z move and he isn't naive, he's 100% running specs. So Chansey should just hard wall it. And I'll go into it on the Volt Switch. Damage does he specs. And pretty sure he gets Scissor. I don't know what else he'd go to. Maybe Bulu. Bulu works too. Okay, yeah, he gets Bulu in. Because he wants to Horn Leech up to full. Because this Bulu is clearly beating my team right now. And if I roost on the Bulu, Woodhammer is going to do like 80 to 90. He'll go Heatran on the Zapdos. Which means I can just bull switch into Chansey, I think. Maybe I go into water. No, I go Chansey. Oh no, I go Lele. Because I was really afraid of him having like Protector Sub, which would actually help him win the 1v1 on Chansey and trap it. So, yeah, I'm going to go Lele. Because, um, you yeah, not taking the risk of getting trapped is worth Because he has Grass to train up. And, I mean, I'd probably win the 1v1. But um, like taking 50% on Lele is worth because it also gets a kill when it's in. Or not necessarily, but it can get a kill. And then I plays it. it. Took a really long time on this play, I remember. It was 3 3 for Magma Storm so far. And yeah, I'm just gonna Psychic, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think he's gonna keep Heatran. He could have. Uh, Bulu wouldn't take a Psychic and a Moonblast, or it was probably a roll of two Psychics filled, since he still doesn't know what my item is. Since I revealed Nature's Madness, it's pretty clear my Scarf. So, uh, yeah, he's just gonna. Oh, he's gonna go Scissor. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So he tries to get Hoopa in on the HP Fire if I have it, and it also covers um, the Zapdos switch in. If that's what I just try to go hard into. And then I'm gonna go for my Z fight here, because I think. Yeah, I'm like hoping he stays in. He's like hoping I'm stuck. But yeah. The damage on the Hoopa is really good still, regardless. And like killing off the scissors is more important, but. Killing Hoopa is good too. The chat kind of freaked out over that one. I don't really get why. I'm just gonna throw out a Moonblast. So this play right here was really, really important. He is going to hard- he wants to get his cook on. He just wants to start bolt switching. He can't really get rocks up safely, because I'm pretty sure it's start for rocks lander. I could have been trained to rocks, but I don't know. But I'm going to stay in in Psychic. I'm looking at the damage, and I'm thinking, two turns not going to kill me from Scarf, and he's not going to EQ. But if I go Zapdos, he risks getting static. And John, like I said earlier, he wants to punish the safe play. The safe play for me is to go Zapdos, so I try to catch him on the one turn I can. Kill the Coco. And yeah, now the momentum is like 
just entirely in my favor, kind of. So he'll get his Bulu in. Um, I might have to switch out, I can't kill it. But I still need this Lele, kind of. Because it's one of the few things reliably that I've been chilling. Heatran, setting up terrain, and removing grassy terrain. So yeah, I will get Zapdos and on the Madness. I think. I don't remember what happens here. Probably Heat Wave. Maybe Volt Switch. I'll just wait and see. How I roost on the wood hammer. Okay, yeah, I remember. This is the turn where I was really stressing over the timer. Because it was going down fast, and yeah, that, that was really bad. I didn't even consider what would happen if I roost. I was just like, okay, I gotta, just gotta heal up, gotta keep this for scissor. And yeah, that was probably the biggest misplay of this game. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't think I had a much better option. I guess I could have gone Lele, but I really uh, didn't want to give Scissor a free roost, because I didn't have HP fire. But yeah, that, that was really a bad mistake. Probably my worst play of the game. He's going to go Scissor after stacking his Heatran. And he kind of, he knows I don't have HP fire at this point. I never revealed all my moves. So, I know I kind of have to get the full para. So go for a Focus Blast. Because yeah, two Focus Blasts and para would mean he dies. I have a no para. And then I'm just going to hit Nature's Madness and focus a few times until my terrain is gone. Because once terrain is gone, i got to get out of there. That's a data bolt. So yeah, focus again, hit again, roost again. Same old, same old. And then uh, this turn. Yeah, it's looking like Nature's Madness does a little more than focus here, so I'm going to Nature's Madness instead. Because I really just want to kill this scissor. Once the scissor dies, um, Latios wins 100%. Like, there's no way it can lose. So, I kind of have to bank on the luck, I guess. And it's pretty much I either get the double para or I lose. So, Nature's Madness again on the knockoff. Doesn't quite kill me because I was itemless. And here I saw um, two Moonblasts could kill, or probably would kill, not could kill. And I thought that was probably the play instead of going hard chancy, because I know he's going to roost again. So this would be the good turn to get the double para one. So I'm going to Moonblast one more time before switching into my chancy. But he does get another roost off, so I'm going to go chancy next turn, because I know now he'll bullet it. There's no reason not to bullet this one. Still isn't full parried yet, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, uh, Seismic Toss is going to do, I think, 29 each hit. Not 30, 29 each hit. And yeah, I'm just praying for the double pair. I get one, don't get a second. Chats with their one and two. So I get one here, and then another one, and I get the second pair. Chats freaking out. Because it means Scissor's dead, and now Latios wins 100%. Reason one is because it was Ice Beam, and uh, the only thing not dying to an Ice Beam at this range is Boo Boo, which just gets Calm Minded on anyways. So yeah, this is who dies. I assume it was SD, but I don't know. He could have been u turn. Doesn't make as much sense. Um, yeah, this comes in, and here I'm going to sack Lele, because I don't want to avoid reaching up like back to full because of that much chance in it as an HP. And it could also be nice for last one Poopa, or for last, yeah, last one Poopa. I don't think EQ even killed from that range either. So I sat Lele. And yeah, I think I'd take kind of the inefficient route. Um, I'd go for the Smart Strike, which he, I don't remember who he is. I think he stays in. We'll see. You know, he stays in and scares me out with Lando, I think. He turns on the chance he psychic kills and psychic terrain, and then cuts on the first place. Yeah, I never even ended up going into my uh, Radios this game. Even though I was kind of playing around it to win by killing a scissor. Which is kind of funny, but what can be done? So yeah, Lando comes in. I'm just going to go chance it. Yeah, there were some plays this game that I think 
were really good. Um, like the play where I got the Coco on the Switch kind of needed to happen. And also, what else? There's one other one I really liked. Just some of the early Volt Switches I pulled off were really important. We also got the play where I Rooster on the Bulu, which, you know, that's really bad. I also kind of blew my Z move on a bad turn. But, whatever, I win. Good game. Yeah, and then Cartana just comes in and Scarf Cartana cleans with me. And the Lando lived U turn 100%, even off a of crit adamant. So, I just want to kill. Yeah, last one, Wolfway kills. Double GG.